good morning and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to go over the bargain bead box for the month of March. Um, I haven't even opened this yet. Um, and I wanted to let you guys know that um, if you didn't catch my last video, I am not doing daily videos anymore. It's just kind of when I get, get a moment to sit down and record, then I will, you know, record something for you guys. Um, <clears throat> so this is the shipment identification key, and it basically just has everything that is in this bundle right here. Um, so I'm pretty excited about this. And there is my coupon code for the, um, let's see if I can't. There we go. Okay, so if you go to this website, beadboxbargains.com, and you have purchased the bargain bead box, then they will send you a 30% off coupon for their sister website. And um, <clears throat> anyway, so that's what that code is, is for. Uh, let me open. So I moved the camera down. I think I'm going to probably be doing some, um, this is really loud. I'm sorry. It's like crazy tissues. Okay. So anyway, I'm probably going to be doing some beadwork because, uh, I have to move my camera back and forth between the beadwork and the paper crafting. So I'll probably leave it here for now and do some beadwork and um, just kind of share with you guys on that. Um, all right. Oh my gosh, these are so pretty. I love this green bag, by the way. It is really pretty. And I do have my autofocus on, so that way I can show you guys, um, hopefully. There it is, okay, and then it went away. So I don't normally mess with the autofocus. I just normally turn it off and then that's it. But anyway, hopefully we can get it to work. Okay, so this is number three. This is actually really, really pretty. This is a Celtic knot flat round charm. See, it'll like focus and then it'll unfocus. It's really weird. I wonder what if I do it helps to have paper crafty stuff see it just keeps going back and forth back and forth there we go anyway those are really pretty um let's put those in there Let's see, what do we have? Oh, those are pretty. This is a green av aventurine round beads. These are 10 millimeter. Those are nice. Uh, some chain. This is, oh, this is really pretty. Um, this is textured steel. Um, what's it say? Textured steel jewelry. Oh, it's lead-free and nickel-free. So I do like that. Uh, let's see. I could probably just zoom you in because I have it so far down. And then turn that off. There we go. We'll just do it like that. Okay, so this is number four. And this is going to be a not-work charm. And there's two of them. That's really pretty. I love all of this knot work stuff. It's so pretty. I love that. Okay. And so I've been uh, reorganizing and organizing my, um, my, what you call it, my shop room. I don't know what I'm going to call that room, but it's basically, it's my room with all my inventory for my shop. And that's what I've been doing all week is 
organizing and reorganizing and organizing and reorganizing. That is so pretty. I love this. So shiny. Uh, this is number 19. Uh, Tri-Quitra. I don't know how to say that. I am so sorry. I feel like it's very much um, centered around the Celts or Druids. And I unfortunately just don't know enough about the people or the religion. And I'm probably mispronouncing a lot of it. Um, you know, well, St. Patty's Day um, makes sense because, you know, Irish, uh, Celtic, Ireland, you know, these are really pretty. That's 11, which is a 12 millimeter hand carved green aventrine leaf beads. Um, this one is number nine. These are really pretty. Um, that's not right. Number six. That's better. 13 and a half crystal disco fauceted round beads. I was like, that's not a Celtic knot. <laughs> so it's six, not nine. Um, ooh, spacers. Those are pretty. Can never have too many spacers. I think I actually ordered some more. Um, I get lost in the rabbit holes of my jewelry supplies. Um, there's a few sites that I go to. Um, this one is one of them. This is five and a half millimeter swirled rope spacer beads. Um, oh, those are so, so pretty. I love this color. It's like a turquoise color. Um, teal green champagne. It is six by four millimeter crystal rondelle beads, teal green champagne color. Oh my gosh, these are so pretty. Oh, those are toggles. And y'all have to let me know if you're interested in seeing me make jewelry or just showing it when I'm done. Which I can do either or. I've done a lot of things on my channel. From beading to crocheting to ironing paper. It truly is just the journey of crafting in general, not any one thing in particular. I really, really like these. This is number 14, which is the 16 by 21 millimeter. And it is ornate toggle clasp. Oh, that's a pretty color. 18, um... 8 by 6 millimeter crystal rondel beads, metallic green iris. Iris is this color. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. I love the shine on. And you like, you don't even see it until you take it out of the bag. Because you see how milky that bag is? Like you just don't see the real pretty, the real beauty in these beads until you take them out. Like, let me take these teal ones out real quick for you. And there's a lot here. Like, look at that. Oh my gosh. You know what this makes me want? This makes me want to just get and find more bead boxes. Because I know there's a bunch out there. This is the only one that I have right now. Um, but I was thinking about getting some other ones. But I don't know which other ones I want to get. So if you guys have suggestions on that, let me know. So this is 16. This is 8 millimeter fauceted English cut candy jade beads. And they are dyed and stuck in the bag. There we go. Oh, those are pretty. Those are so pretty. 
I love these green. Like, oh my gosh, this green is so nice. I'm going to have fun playing with these. Those are neat. So this one is 17. So approximately 24 by 27 millimeter. Half matte green agate coin beads. How cool is that? Oh man, that is just so cool. Sorry, I just keep playing with it. That's really neat. All right, number 15 is a 30 by 20 millimeter green aventurine teardrop focal point. That's nice. If, <clears throat> if you do wrap, that would be really nice in a wrap. I am still learning wrapping, so I'm not sure if I want to venture off into the focals yet. This one is number 12. These are eight pieces of 18 and a half by 15 and a half. Dara Knot Drops. Those are really nice. Okay. This is number five. This is a 14 inch strand of six millimeter green agate round beads. Okay. Ooh, you're nice. So this is two pieces, 31 by 27 millimeter Celtic knot donut with loop. So that's the back. And then that's the front. That's really cool. It's got the loop in the front here, our inside and outside. I like that. Okay. And then, oh, those are nice bead caps. Uh, number two, 20 pieces of seven and a half millimeter, three petal bead cap. Okay. And then the last one is hello, number one, which is two piece, approximately 18 by 13 millimeter green aventurine teardrop pendants. Those are really nice. I like the weight of this stone. Those are really nice. Okay, and that's it. So we got 19 different items, and each item has anywhere between one and a bunch of pieces. Um, like, this is a 14-inch strand. That's a lot of beads. So that's it. And, yeah, Bloop. dump it all out. There we go. So you guys can see it. Kind of at a glance. There we go. Yeah. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And don't forget, if you want to go get your own Bargain Bee box, click the link in the description box and it'll take you right there. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye guys.